Hey guys, what's going on? So I've had a lot of uh, requests to do a quick walk around of the car on some stuff that I've done that I haven't got on film or that I didn't have the camera to do so. So we're gonna do a quick uh, walk around here. As you guys uh, recognize, M3 front bumper. I got this off uh, eBay. I had it shipped to my house. No damage when I got it, which is nice considering it's fiberglass and also usually explode in the mail, but I lucked out, I got that, I got the rear. I have a 240SX side skirts that I'm going to re-glass and shrink down to fit the car. Uh, probably going to get over fenders eventually. I might, maybe in a, in a newer video, I might uh, try and glass my rear quarter panels and make uh, bolt-on uh, quarter panels and I can just cut that whole section out because there is a bit of rust in that back section and it just looks god awful. Um, we have some uh, wire tucking going on to kind of just clean everything up. I'm getting rid of a, a bunch of this stuff that I don't need. I got like the, the temperature sensor, ABS modules. We got some other stuff here we don't need, like the headlight switch we're gonna keep, like the horn button we're gonna keep. Most of this other stuff is gonna go. We uh, have the black paint that we did, the truck bed liner stuff. We did the whole bottom of the car. We did the bottom of the uh, frame rails and all that stuff. Any of the rust repair that we did, we coated over with it. Got our subframe, E46 control arms, Z3 rack. Uh, we'll go around inside the car. I'll show you what uh, what I've been doing so far. Um, roll cage. A couple of you guys asked about this. This roll cage I, uh, I built by myself. I bought a pipe bender off Kijiji. Uh, about 60 bucks. Came with all the dies. I had my buddy Nav, the guy with the V70R in the last video. Uh, he helped me pick it up, thanks to him. Um, spent a lot of time on this with, <laughs> with my girlfriend bending and measuring and all sorts of other stuff. It's not built to any race specification, I just built it for my own personal safety, as this car is only going to be used for, you know, my own personal fun, right? Go to the track every once in a while, maybe go to a test and tune here and there, and just, you know, just race it, right? That's what I'm building it for, just to have fun. I'm not building it to compete, I'm not building it to be the best, I just want to have fun and, you know, improve my driving skill a little bit, right? Uh, what you guys haven't seen is this. These are my Willwood, I guess you could say Willwood Master Cylinder, or not Master Cylinder, sorry, uh, Master Reservoirs, the remote reservoirs for the pedal set that I have down there. Uh, this bracket that I used to make it, all I did was tack the nuts for each uh, system. There should be two on each side. I tacked the nuts for each one on the back side. And then uh, now when I thread this nut off, this bracket is actually welded to the the center section of the dash bar. So when I undo these nuts, I don't have to worry about this one spinning. I just throw the nut back on, tighten it back down, and then you know it stays where it's supposed to be. Uh, I got labels for each one. We got clutch, front brake, and rear brake. We do have a uh, RX-7 big brake kit that we're gonna be putting on this from the uh, SC Turbo. I got those from uh, the Rutgers yard for free. Because they're into like $380 on eBay. I feel like I uh, got a pretty good deal on those. This is the uh, this is the paddle setup that we're going to be using, the Willwood slash Coaxin set with uh, Willwood uh, Compact Series blades. The only thing I don't like about the Willwood setup is their out input is a 1/8 Neg 27 pipe fitting, which is not equivalent to a brake size, so I had to use a reducer to a brake size of standard thread and then that is going to go out to the brakes. Uh, no booster in this setup because I can't use the booster, it's too uh, too big and bulky for what I'm doing here. Which I'll uh, you know fill you guys in on the next couple episodes coming up. Uh, yeah, I can't show you the back of the car because that has some of the color scheme that I'm going to be using to actually you know change the car's look. I can't have you guys see that yet because I haven't finished it and I want that to be a completely separate video on its own. Uh, in terms of wheels, we have a set of, uh, I got these off uh, Kijiji actually for 300 bucks. They're uh, um, rotor grids, classics, wrapped in a very, very tired tire. <laughs> As you can see, the front section's been uh, smashed by a fender from the previous owner. Tread's still pretty good, but you know, it'll only last me half a lap, maybe a lap.
What's up YouTube? So uh, today is moving day. I'm uh, going to a new garage that I'm renting just uh, down from my house. A little bit more space, uh, 24 hour access, hydro. So uh, we can finish the race car and keep you guys updated. I got uh, my buddy Nav helping me move here. It's uh, quarter after eight right now in the morning. This thing looks friggin' sick. changes.